there. I'm Dino Andrade, and I'm the voice of the Scarecrow in Batman Arkham Asylum. Okay, there is no running in the exhibit hall. And there's no Please running in the exhibit hall. Please walk to your destination. Thank you. Thank you. So the first question is, is, how did they, did you know about the character before you played the part of the Scarecrow? Yes, yes, absolutely. I'm one of those guys who, I'm a huge, huge geek. I like, I'm one of those guys that in acting class while other people were studying Ibsen and Shaw, I was reading Batman comics. And seriously, especially when Gene Colan took over the book, big fan. I absolutely love the stuff. So I really wanted to be part of it. I really did. Getting into voice work and animation, that's what I wanted. And so when, uh, originally I had read not only for uh, Scarecrow, but I had read for Joker because they hadn't made the deal yet to get uh, Mark Hamill. Mark Hamill. Uh, and then my agent called and said, you got Scarecrow. And I was, I was a little disappointed. I was like, oh, I really wanted, uh, really wanted Joker. Then I got the script. And when I read the script, it was like, oh, wow. That's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, yeah, absolutely. Then I was thrilled, absolutely thrilled. So I broke out my, uh, my, my Arkham Asylum graphic novel. I broke out uh, uh, Batman Vampire, because yeah, it's got that cool version of the, the Scarecrow with the severed thumbs and all of that stuff. And, and I studied those, and, you know, I just, just really got into it, really got into it. So this was, this for me was very much a dream gig. So. Now, this is a question a lot of people ask, is like, do you play games yourself? Did you get to your part? Because a lot of voice actors don't actually, can't, they're not good at games, you so know, it's hard for them to uh, even get to their section. I, I, I have to say, guilty as charged. I actually got a good friend of mine who's, a, who's an excellent gamer, and I had him bring over uh, uh, his, uh, system. His, his, his system. Uh, he, he got the Xbox. I was given as a gift the, the big, beautiful one with the batarang and oh, all nice. that. So he brought, and I only had a Wii, so he brought uh, he brought his system over and played it through, and, and I just I just watched it like a movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, 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 do you know if you're gonna be in the second game? Any anything like have they contacted you or anything like that? For you know, the new that's Arkham City? that is entirely up to them. I you know I only know when the agent calls and says, hey, are you available on this date? You know, that's the thing. We actors are not part of the production team. They don't tell us anything till the last possible minute. So, you know, it's 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 not like uh, movies or TV shows where you're contracted way in advance uh, of uh, of everything. You know, uh, so so. So, what other voice roles do you have coming up that we should look out for? Then? Well, as far as anything that's about to come out, I actually can't talk about at uh, this point. I have there's something really major about to come out that if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Uh oh. You know, ninjas leap out from behind the booth. <laughs> Uh, but you know, I'm also all over World of Warcraft. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm Mimiron, Mechatork, Professor Putricide, Fungal Mancer, Glop, a uh, whole bunch of guys. I'm all the Death Knight gnomes. I'm also in uh, Call of Duty. I'm the voice of Pop for the Rice. Like here, here you go. There, there's your, there's your, uh, there's your spread right there. Right. <laughs> okay. And you can get the uh, you can get a sick autograph one for about ten bucks, right? Yep. From the Scarecrow. From the Scarecrow, right here. Or from Warren Vidic. Or from, or from Warren in Assassin's Vidic. Creed. In Assassin's Creed. <laughs> yeah.